Hey everybody, it's Kneecap here, and welcome to This Week in WoW for the week of April 23rd, the beginning of Season 4, the Awakened uh, Faded Season number 2. We are going to start with the Mythic Plus affixes as usual, because I don't think there's any changes to the rotation nor the affixes, uh, just the levels at which you get them, because there are a lot of Mythic Plus changes. Uh, we have Tyrannical, Storming, and Raging. Again, that's going to be Tyrannical, Storming, and Raging for Mythic Plus. Now, the Mythic Plus changes are... Right now, in Dragonflight, like as I'm making this video, it's plus 20 to have the absolute max reward, right, um, for Mythic Plus. That is getting shrunk down in half to plus 10. But the difficulty stay in the same, right? So a plus 10 Mythic Plus is going to be the similar difficulty as a plus 20 Mythic Plus is right now, right this second, as I'm recording. A plus 5 will be like a plus 10. You know, things like that. It's basically, you know, half. <laughs> it's it, pretty simple when it comes to that. They also are making heroic dungeons more difficult, but increasing the item level. And making Mythic Zero more difficult, but increasing the item level. This is a very good change for... The biggest thing is, first of all, for people who like doing heroics, but it's too easy for them. Because they like to queue for the through the group finder, right? Uh, but it's too easy for them, and they want better gear. And then number two, for people who may be even a bit more skilled, but don't like the timer of the Mythic Plus, and so they can now do Mythic Zeros or whatever. Now, if you're in a very small niche group of people that do plus 20s, but the timer still kind of gives you anxiety, even in those plus 20s, then it's not really helping you at all. If you're doing, if you're somebody who does plus 20s at all, Pretty much nothing changes, you're just doing plus 10s. If you're doing weekly plus 20s, now you're just doing weekly plus 10s. So that's kind of like just the really quick TLDR on those dungeon changes. That's probably the biggest change for Season 4. Uh, this week we do have a Time Walking Dungeon event going on. Burning Crusade Time Walking, so you can take part in that. Um, I think the Time Walking might be scaled up as well to fit with like heroic uh, dungeons. So you can get some loot from that. We also have... Uh, volunteer Guard Day towards the end of the week, and at the very end of the week, we have the beginning of Children's Week. I never was too interested in that holiday, but it is one for the meta holiday. If you still haven't done that and you want to do that, uh, that is coming up towards the end of this week as well. Now, last week, I was correct in just assuming anybody who has Twitter and follows World of Warcraft people uh, could have guessed that it wasn't anything great by me, but uh, the Alpha did launch this past week, and uh, I as I also guessed, I did not get alpha access. Obviously, I'm still doing videos about the alpha. It's just like second hand, right, through other people or what is data mined and things like that. Uh, so very exciting times right now. So much stuff coming out on the alpha um, as far as just stuff that's data mined. Like just the, the data mining is even bigger than the actual playthroughs right now because basically stuff is made public for the first time. And we're seeing that uh, a lot of stuff for this expansion seems to be pretty hype so far. Some really interesting things came out about Delves. I did a video about that. And just a bunch of interviews were released as well, right? And so uh, it's just a, some very exciting times right now. And tons of content just in the very near future. We have this going on. If you're a classic fan, you have Cataclysm Classic coming out soon. If you're going to play that. I know that won't be the most popular classic, but uh, you have that coming out. You have this uh, the final story line of Dragonflight coming out May 7th. It's going, to, it's going to set the scene for the pre-patch later on in the year. Uh, final bit of storyline here. Uh, I think that's uh, May 7th, I want to say it is. Yeah, May 7th will be that. So two weeks from now. But we'll have that coming out. And then we'll have the Mists of Pandaria uh, event as well with the time running. And that looks like it's going to last quite a while too if you want to take part in that and try to collect all those rewards or whatever if, you know, if that behooves you. Uh, so yeah, lots lots of stuff going on in World of Warcraft right now. <laughs> so, you know, just typically how it goes, especially when expansion launches, there's going to be these months in the final season, whatever season that is. In this case, it was the third season or whatever. Um, but there's going to be those those final, uh, those some months in there where it's like really boring, <laughs> where there's nothing to do really. And then you're just going to get smacked with so much stuff uh, as like the alpha comes out, the beta comes out. More, more comes out, you know, ch big changes to talent trees, big changes to this, big changes to that, and whatever they're working on. So it's a very exciting time. It's very exciting for me. Um, for season four, or for this final faded season, whatever season this is, um, uh, awakened season, 
Uh, we'll not be doing much. Uh, we'll, I, I, we're only planning on doing heroic raid. I think maybe some people might change their minds if it's it seems easy enough or they want to get more gear or heroic is too easy or whatever. But we're basically not trying to seriously raid during this time because it's just the same raids repurposed. Um, I'll probably spend a little bit more time in Mythic Plus than normal, but any of that changes if I get into Alpha or like an earlier stage of the beta because anybody who pre-ordered uh, The War Within gets the beta, but uh, I don't know if they're going to have like an earlier stage of the beta or if they're just going to let everybody in the beta, which I think is a good thing if they do do that, by the way. Um, but yeah, so that, that might change a lot because I'll be on there testing stuff and giving Rep Paladin feedback 100%. I'll also be exploring <laughs> and looking for anything that could be a secret in the future. Hopefully they wouldn't have put it already in the game in the beta, but looking for things that could possibly be secrets in the future. Uh, I did find uh, in BFA uh, a cave that I thought could be a secret, and it did end up having an item in it. <laughs> so you can kind of find things that you might think uh, could be a secret in the future as well. Uh, so I'll be spending a lot of time doing that. As soon as I can get access to War Within, I'll be focusing on that. Mostly because my guild doesn't really want to focus on uh, this Awakened season, which I don't blame them for. Um, and so because of that, you know, I'm not going to be too hardcore into it. Like I said, I might do a video about like trinkets and stuff like that as soon as I can run simulations and uh, whatnot and just give my actual opinions as well. Because I think it's not what I like to do on this channel is not always be about simulation, but also give like my real world feedback actually using it. So I'm actually using an ability or trinket is sometimes different than simulating it and uh, give maybe give some feedback on that for people. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to be really mythic rating, so uh, I won't have like that that thing that I'm normally more obsessed with uh kind of uh prodding along my progression on my character uh as i normally would so if i get if i get into anything it'll probably be mythic plus but i'm just not a huge mythic plus fan so we'll see where that takes me uh but that's gonna be it for this one hopefully just tons more news coming out uh you know very, again like i said very exciting time right now uh so hopefully more and more news more and more stuff comes out and we can talk about that together so as always i do ask you to please subscribe to the channel that helps me out so much and other than that everybody have a good one.